I've won Matthew. All right, so just guy thing. Uh, this is two cards off of the list on my website. I've cut the third surgical and the third alpine moon for an agate and a dispel, just to give us a little bit more tools against the uh, control decks in the format. Have a little bit more counter spells and interaction there. Matthew, thank you for the brand new Prime support. I appreciate that. Thanks for shipping your Bezo Bucks this way this month. So if you haven't seen this deck before, this is a deck that it's basically what's referred to as a Xerox deck, which means it plays a ton of cantrips. We've got 16 pieces of card selection here, as well as Mana Morphos. And then we use those cards for Thing in the Ice and Pyromancer Ascension. Uh, Magic Online has encountered a serious error and needs to close. So we're going to restart that real quick here. Yeah, the new, the new animations are great. Listen, chat, it's doing its best. It's doing its best, okay? Yep, yeah, the donation queue is going to stay in a slowed state probably till next week. So I'm going to cut three decks off the queue today, leaving it at 46 decks. So my plans are to take it out of a slow state when we hit 40 decks. We keep, we keep getting close to 40 and then people keep tier three subbing and sending me dollars and pushing it back up, which I'm not complaining about. I have had a couple of crashes when a game ends, but they're infrequent and not consistent. I'm using Wine 3.17 staging with it. We streamed yesterday for seven hours and I think I had two crashes in seven hours. Risk Factor was okay. I think it's sideboardable. Uh, Ionize was impressive. I think I might try Ionize in the main deck. Afternoon Light Hammer. What's the number that puts it into a slow state? 90. When we hit 90 decks, I put it into a slow state. And then again, the purpose of that is so this queue just doesn't balloon until forever because I can physically only play so many decks per week. Yay! It's a it's an arena thing and not a Linux thing. Yay! Uh, Lighthammer, if you are resubbing, you need to refresh your browser page to send send the notification through. Yeah, I could I could see splitting remand that ionized two two. Yeah, probably too. Again, watch the wrap-up segment for the video that we just played if you want my thoughts on what I would change and what I would try moving forward. It'll be up on YouTube when I'm done streaming today. I really like Arena. I am not um, a huge fan of its card acquisition model, but the actual software, and when it comes to being able to play Magic, it does it very, very well. Sand is not particularly good against Ad Nauseam. We're looking for a thing in the ice or an ascension ASAP here to get this flipped over. I drew an ascension, so I'm gonna bottom this second one. I also don't have a great way to get this ascension going right away. Let's just not worry about it, snap, bold snap. Let's keep, uh, let's keep politics out of the chat. Ad Nauseam, you're saying you're biased in this matchup, Ad Nauseam Philly? Been viewing your content for infinity years, about time I started subbing. Thank you for the re-up in that Twitch Prime Light Hammer. I appreciate that. Welcome back.
This is this is one of the harder matchups for this deck. This deck's very good against decks that care about Lightning Bolt and Lightning Helix as removal spells. And in matches where they they, they don't care about those cards, maybe I should take the Serum Visions there because it enables... It puts a counter on here. I kind of wanted another land, though. Maybe it was aggressive to do what I did here, though. You don't, you don't have to grind. You can, you have the, grinding is optional. You know what the most powerful card in Arena is? The credit card. It allows you to get all of the other cards. Twerk and Rogue, thank you for the four month three subscription. I appreciate that. Thanks for re up and welcome back. One card to rule them all. I would love an opt because it triggers this ascension. I'd be very surprised if they ever support modern on arena. I don't think they're going to want to back code that many sets. Seven months of magic and telling people how dumb they are on Twitter. What's going on, Stusky? There's a pretty good chance we're not dead this turn, but next turn, and we're definitely not killing them before then. Uh, Arena is not officially supported on anything other than Windows currently. They just hit open beta. So, I'm not sure I actually buy Arena being that much more expensive than other games. As somebody who gave Blizzard Entertainment $1,200 to get into Hearthstone this year and doesn't have a full standard set, um... Hearthstone's absurdly expensive. Brawl is dead. Stop. Stop trying to make Brawl happen, Chad. It's not happening. So I'm binning this helix, so that way this next helix I cast can... Oh, actually, huh. I can actually cast the Serum Visions to put the last counter on my thing. So I'm going to ditch these two. And then if I Serum Visions into a fourth land here, I can Mana Morphose and maybe go off. Well, so Brawl and Frontier are different. So Frontier wasn't something that Wizards of the Coast had created. Frontier was something a game store in Japan had invented to sell extra magic cards that they, they couldn't otherwise sell. Frontier was very successful at doing that. I, I, bet, I bet they backcode some sets, Jack. I, I don't know how, how much they're going to backcode, but I'd bet money they backcode some sets. Dead to ad nauseum here. Yeah, back back coding a small bit opens up them ability to run run flashback limited and make money off of sets they already have designed. So this is a negate and dispel matchup. I wonder if this is a wear tear matchup. It's definitely not a Bedlam Rebel matchup. That card is too slow. I think I want Thing in the Ice just as a big fat boy to flip over quickly. And I need Lightning Bolts and Lightning Helixes as a way to end the game with Pyromancer's Ascension as Reach. So I think I just want a board like this. I don't think these wear tears are good enough.
I mean, Arena is definitely starting with Standard. For people that don't know their history, Magic Online started with just Standard 2. I have no idea, I doubt. I would try and build decks around Elder Deep Fiend, Thopter Spy Network, and Eldritch Evolution are probably the cards I'd want to play with most. I'd also figure out what kind of rock and tempo decks existed. Going back to OG Innistrad. So I almost feel like you don't want cards as powerful as Snapcaster and Liliana in this new format. I would kind of not mind backcoding to cons and then if they backcoded to cons and then ban fetch lands, I think that would be fine. Yeah, I boarded. I don't think I want wear tear. I think I like all the cards that are in my deck. They probably realistically won't do that in band fetches because a lot of people play into the anything with a band list is bad type idiocy. Seems fine. Beatha looting an opt to dig for cards. Yes, that is that is also true. The way the rules engine is designed is to help them. Well, I really wish I had wear tear in my deck now. So the bolt them out plan is no longer on the table. So we are on the thing in the ice, right? It's a victory plan. Origins was the first set to have the the hologram on the rares, right? Or am I misremembering? Oh, was it M15? I can't wait till we win this game by both our own face with Mentor in play. It's definitely something that could happen. Thank you, Mage, for the 10 months. I appreciate that. Or do they not have a land? And honestly, Magic cards being designed with Arena in mind is like a good thing for the game, right? Because like you want the digital experience to be pleasant. I actually really like the new the new shock lands for the most part. I don't think there's any that I, I strictly don't care for. I don't know what I'm looking for here exactly. Probably just like more negates and dispels. Some, some cold as I see a thing in the ice. Looking for a can trip, a can trip, a can trip. Looking for a can trip. Do 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 do. Am I helixing myself? I think I'm helixing myself.
Oh, I could helix the thing. Sure. My health level doesn't matter. You're right. Helixing the thing is better. Fetch lands just make for slow, cumbersome gameplay. So I assume we're about to see an Angel's Grace here. Fog resolves. I go to one here. <sighs> it's so sad, chat. I ran out of fruit cups. Yeah, two shots of the dispel here. Birdman, welcome to folks coming over from there. We're hanging out, playing some modern this afternoon. Blue red here, so that way I can cycle another mana if we missed on a counter spell. We can cast a counter spell if we hit one. is unfortunate there's only one dispel in our deck but if we i guess i should have made blue blue because i'm out of mana i don't know i could also hit another mana morphos like it kind of goes either way my slay line of sanctity prevents us from killing them next turn so the way phyrexian on life works for those who aren't familiar even though we're attacking my opponent for 14 next turn they don't take one damage and then 13 in fact they take 14 damage go to negative 13 health and then they get another turn. And I neglected to board and wear tear like a big dumb stupid, so. I definitely should have boarded in the three copies of that card. Negate is an excellent draw. We're gonna Faithless Looting here, post combat. I should bolt them and then swing. Yeah, the, the problem is I don't have a fridge down here. So, even taking 60 seconds to run upstairs to the fridge. Downtime. Downtime kills Twitch streams. That's the way this job works. I, 
I, I could buy a fridge. I don't have a good place to put or plug in a fridge is the issue. So like when Christy and I move in the spring, my new office is definitely going to be put together with that. I don't actually really have an office. My desk is just like set up in this large room in our basement. It's not a cost thing. It's a positioning and outlet availability thing. Are you dead? Looking like we're gonna get a game three here, sweet. I'm gonna cut these helixes and just leave Bolton, I think. I'm gonna trim an ascension as well. I think they drew the ad nauseum for the turn light. I just, I'd assume they didn't have the ad nauseum to start. Sand's not very good. Lacks white mana. Lacks the threat, really. Sand needs a second land. I'm on the draw with the scry. No, that's not how that works. If you're below one, Angel's Grace doesn't help you. So I boarded Bedlam back in because it's another way to attack and block through through a Leyline of Sanctity. This deck puts, especially with Faithless Looting, we can cast Bedlam pretty soon. So like while the grind aspect of it isn't very good, I think just like the fact that it's another threat that can kill my opponent is worthwhile. Especially when my combo burn plan it could potentially just like not be useful at all. Uh, we went three and two. Risk factor was kind of medium. Ionize was great though. Hopefully they uh, they play an unlife and we draw draw a land and get to wear tear both. Uh, Chad nauseum will be happening at some point in the future. It got outvoted for today. Two shots and a land here. Gonna make white blue here so that way if I miss on a land I can tear the unlife plus uh plus cast serum visions. It does punish me for that though. Which feels bad, but it is what it is. I'm just going bottom, bottom here. I'm kind of just like looking for lands and counter spells. Like this TT is going to flip over here. Oh, good. We're dead.
Yeah, modern. Yeah, modern. I really hope this standard format's good. Modern, modern has its moments, but there's a lot of there's a lot of games of magic in mod there's a lot of games of magic in modern where you just like basically don't play, and good standard formats don't really have that. It's been it's been a long time since we've had one of those though. So long, in fact, I almost I almost uh, don't remember. How are we doing, folks? We're waiting for the second match in this league to pop. I'd just like to thank everyone for hanging out here today. Welcome. My name is Jeff Hoagland. I'm a full-time streamer and content producer here on Twitch. I'm here playing Magic 30-plus hours a week. We play uh, Mostly Constructed here. If you enjoy my stuff, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, I'm here because I love playing Magic, and my subscribers are the people that keep me employed. They're the reason I'm able to be here streaming 30-plus hours a week like I am. Past subscribing, you can also support my stuff by checking out some of my very wonderful sponsors. MTGOTraders.com. I love to buy and sell some Magic online cards with you. A monkey... Monk, Monk into thank you for the brand new brand new Twitch Prime sub there. I appreciate that. If you use code Hoagland PayPal at checkout with mtgotraders.com, you'll save 8% on your singles orders there. Coolstuffinc.com, buy and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code Jeff5, you can save 5% on Magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them. BCW Supplies, love to help you protect your very valuable Magic cards and all your other gaming accessories. They do uh, sleeves, deck boxes, and all sorts of other great stuff. And you can save 10% on your orders at bcwsupplies.com by using code Jeff10. And of course, Lisa would like to get you on your way to a better night's sleep. Christy and I have been sleeping with Lisa for the last uh, three months now, and we really love it. I don't think we'd ever go back to a traditional pillow top mattress. You can save $160 or more on your new mattress with them by checking out links bit.ly forward slash us and bit.ly forward slash ca. Rolling on into our second match here with Jessica Thing. Hopefully we can uh, find a matchup that cares about our lightning bolts and our helixes. Generally speaking, the matchups that are good for a deck like this are the ones that... Uh, tend to your, where our removal spells are actually good removal spells. So, Chef Carrot. A format being less bad than, an, than a different one does not make it good. It's like someone says, well, this, uh, this pile of vomit smells less than this pile of poop. So obviously this pile of vomit is decent. It's like, no, the pile of vomit's still bad, but it's just less bad than the pile of poop. No, I don't follow him on Twitter, Brad. They're both still poop, but I don't want either of them in my house, right? All right, so is this a thing in the ice first or an ascension first? They're playing storm, so we're probably dead. These are, these are the types of matchups that are very bad for this deck. Just tell people you're a small heart collector. Okay. So that main phase gift, sure. I can flip this TT over next turn and hopefully have a red source up to hold up Lightning Bolt still. I don't think that's true, Def Angura. Both blue, red, and black, green are pretty, pretty decent against Storm. It is, it is very, the possibilities are very, very annoying, Brad. You are not, you are not wrong about that. 
I think I just give them both creatures here, right? Like my deck is full of Doom Blades. I want this Past in Flames to be as expensive as possible. I'm going to make red red here with this. Mm, maybe I should have made red blue for this opt. That's kind of brutal. So I'm going to ditch these two, I think. I have to leave up both this turn, right? Oh, I guess, um, I guess I can cast Opt and bounce their thing to their hand. That's not terrible. aren't as murderous as their fingernails. All right, I'm gonna cast this and then uh, probably run upstairs and get a snack real quick while we die. I mean, is an alert system like that really any different than like a telemarketer calling me? It's just like a telemarketer, right? All right, I'm gonna go get something to eat. I'll be right back. Enjoy the show. Whoa! Are they supposed to file for comp? Is their deck broken? I am incredibly confused. So I don't even think I kill this, right? Because like they have a, uh, they have another thing in their hand. Well, we can't go off this turn. So we need we need another turn too. So let's see what they get going here.
So I often describe this as a combo burn deck. So this is going to be a good example of one of our combo burn turns here, hopefully. Always, yes, always. Yield Manamorphose is like our enabler because when you cast Manamorphose with Ritual out here, obviously you generate extra mana. So we turn two mana into four with this. I'm going to go ahead and cast this. So we find a Bolt or a Helix. They're dead here, I believe, right? Yeah, Bolt or Helix and Lethal. Yeah, their, their Storm deck must be defective. Magic Online must be bugged for them. We're definitely not supposed to get this many turns against the Storm deck. All right, sweet. So I'm going to helix the, their blockers here. Put some hats on these. I'm going to make sure these resolve before I do anything else here. Because they could have a remand in their hand, right? Gifts ungiven in response, sure. This is great. This means they're dead, right? Because this other, this other helix kills them. All right, so I want to share something I've been thinking about for the last couple days, and y'all are going to be the first ones to hear it. I am going to open the donation queue back up for $10 donations for just standard decks starting today. So I'm interested, interested in gauging how much demand there is for people to pay me money to play standard decks before we, as we think about adding that to the queue. So if you are if you are someone who is thinking about submitting a standard deck to be played on stream for subs, I will do them for ten dollar donations, and for non subs, it is a twenty dollar donation, just like just like with others. Yeah, still still fifty to build a deck. So Storm, uh, these get to come in, Mentor gets to come in, Path comes out, Looting comes out. Now Looting's pretty good at, I have no, I have no idea, Mr. Muck. I don't think we know the answer to that question. I don't know, I don't think we know the answer to that question. We'll find out though. Ian, thank you for the eight month three sub there. I appreciate that. Welcome back. What am I cutting here? What am I cutting? Is it just a cantrip? I think it might just be a cantrip. I'm gonna cut opt.
Yeah, you're always welcome to submit ideas with the, hey, this is something that I'm trying. You are welcome to make edits. I appreciate it, in fact, if you allow me to make edits or sometimes I can clean up things that really don't make sense. Sweet, awesome, Lighthammer. And again, just as a reminder, I'm only going to be guaranteed doing standard on Tuesdays unless there is a huge demand for it. I'm not really familiar with VR at all. No, all standard will be played on Arena. Um, uh, just a normal deck list site like Goldfish or Tapped Out is fine. That's a, that's a good question. There were a small amount of people that preferred. I was actually really surprised by how many people in my poll voted that they preferred Arena, which made me happy because I, I definitely prefer Arena. Oh no, chat. We boarded out. We boarded out our paths. Then they thing in the ice to us. I, get, I guess I just double bolt this, right? Looking for a threat at this point. I guess I have two lanes in my hand, so I don't really mind this looting. I think Arena is very different from Magic Online, but Arena is a... It's an actual video game. It reminds me, it reminds me of playing Hex or Hearthstone or other things that are like actual card game video games. Only ones, deck lists that are legible are preferred. I'm gonna dispel the crap out of a gift given this turn. Oh, I could have dispelled that. I should have dispelled that. That doesn't line up very well against Thing in the Ice. Just need to dig for another bolt here. All right. Uh, yeah, top top. Maybe our things can just bump uglies together. I'll show you my TTs if you show me yours, opponent. Uh, we played my changes with Civilized Sahili this morning and it did not go well. That's how you get banned on Twitch.
I should make blue blue with this Manamorphose, right? Like I'm most likely to hit a blue cantrip here. Especially with this draw plus the opt. What about emojis? What does my operating system have to do with emojis? Let me greedy and bottom that. All right, let's flip this bad boy over. I think I'm just gonna make red, white, and helix them. Fair, fair. Now they don't, they don't have that many cards in their hand and they haven't been doing anything. So I think tapping out there is completely fine. I think the changes were fine. I think the deck's just like not very good, sir. I'm gonna keep this second thing on top of my deck because the opponent's deck is likely to not have another Echoing Truth in it. So any other way they have to interact with the thing in the ice is likely only going to bounce one of my things. The emojis that are supported by the thing has to do with Streamlabs and not, not what I'm doing. I think I just negate this just to like get my spells cast. The flip side of thing in the ice is a 7-8. So they're, they're kind of awkward like Tremor Grace, that they just like bounce off each other if they're all flipped. I guess this doesn't really accomplish anything just yet. But eventually it might. I don't have any helixes in my bin yet. I'm already through three Manamorphos, which kind of sucks for us. I could like Helix and then dispel my own Helix, but like Helix resolving is actually valuable for me here because putting myself to 16 and putting them to 13 changes the clock pretty drastically when we're hitting in chunks of seven. I'm basically dispelling the first thing they give me a real chance to dispel that's like even close to relevant. Just so I can like get aggressive here. I'm gonna close this game out. I could flip off Surgical here, huh? I guess that's true, I could, I could Surgical Dispel, Surgical. That puts me back to 14 though. The Dispel is like also kind of like decent insurance for like not dying. Like they have a lot of mana here. So like a Gifts Ungiven Resolving is like really bad for us. Like to, I would like to use my no button, please. My horror is woke, chat. Are you woke? I would like to take your gifts ungiven away and attack you for 14. Look at his big scary fin. He's just horrible. They have like another echoing truth here. He's just gonna like savage me. Man, their hand's looking a little bit desperate. I 
Bast and Flames is actually a really good draw for them now, right? Because they can uh they can just pass in flames and like bounce both my horrors. They are forced to jump block here though, so we've got that going for us. So they've got like one shot here. The chance to roll. Oh, I guess they get to flip their boy over too, so they don't have to jump block. That makes sense. They get to go rit rit. Boy, let's get him. Let's get him, chat. Run him down. Don't you want to want to hold us? Don't you want to want to hold us? Don't you want to? They had two passing flames in their deck. So it looks like they left both of them in here. Look at that. There's already three submissions for decks. I assume they're standard decks. All right, we got one. Let's head on into the next tier. I'm actually pretty impressed we beat Storm. I think that matchup's pretty tough for this deck. The faster linear combo decks tend to be a harder time. So I, I really wasn't surprised when we lost to Ad Nauseam in the first match. Hopefully we find one of them sweet, sweet creature decks. Any of the swarm decks that like really care about thing in the ice just get dumpstered. If you had to change the Scalding Tarns for blue non-Zendikar fetches, uh, blue is probably the most important, so I'd probably just start with all, all those. Seems like not amazing, but it's definitely keepable. A Faithless Looting lets us filter through the details here really nicely. They mulliganed to four, five, five, I think. They mulligan to five. They're playing bridge vine. Looks like bridge vine. Mm, I probably should have let on Spire Bluff Canal. I'm fed shocking here anyways. Looking for more cards to enable this. I'm going to take the Helix here because it allows us to buffer our health a little nicely. This is a matchup where trimming surgical kind of hurts a little bit, but I've got two surgicals and two angers, which are both very good in this matchup. We have a lot of cantrips to find those cards. One of the things that's really awesome about the deck that we're playing is that because it has so many cantrips in it, it's very good at finding its sideboard cards. So these higher impact sideboard cards like Alpine Moon Surgical and Anger, we find them pretty consistently most games in the first few turns. If you mulligan accordingly and cantrip correctly, you'll you'll find your sideboard cards most games with this deck. Yeah, Thousand Year Storm is not modern playable. However, there's probably a sweet Thousand Year Storm deck in standard. Ranting Bob! Doling out the gift of Roonies. Thank you, that's very generous. I appreciate that. Slide this one up over here for a hot second. All those pop up. Maybe it should just be off to the side. Not the icon's bigger anyways. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and helix this. They only have two cards in their hands. So like the chance of them being able to reflip it out here are kind of low. 
Yep, yep, I got it. I got you. We are gonna, I think we're gonna change the text of the sub names on there because it's a little bit hard to read when they get too wide. Boros, Agardic, and my choice of the standard queue. Definitely a beetle. Uh, yeah, you can find my standard blue red list on my, on, uh, my Twitter page. And we also played a little bit of a deck list on, um, uh, on what's it called? Uh, on, uh, arena on Monday. <laughs> sounds, sounds good, Bob. Yeah, actually, I think, um, I think we're actually going to play, we will, we will do that tomorrow, actually. I think, uh, Ketter wanted to play some standard too, and I kind of want to play some more standard before the weekend, so we're, we're more familiar with it. So, we will definitely play some standard tomorrow. I think tomorrow, so normally I'm not going to do split formats on the same day, I'm going to do all modern or all standard, but I think tomorrow we're going to do two modern in the morning and then two standard in the afternoon. So, if I can trip nicely here, this thing in the ice might be able to take this game over. If we like hit can trips into can trips, yo dog. Manamorphose. Don't mind if it does. Yeah, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check deck submissions tonight. Don't mind if it does. I think I'm gonna make red, red with this. I'm gonna make red, blue. Red, blue, whatever. I'm gonna helix them. I'm gonna cast this up. I've not played mono blue yet. Yeah, yeah, Arena has best of three. We played all best of three yesterday. Uh, I will not be putting standard decks on my website. So generally, standard changes often enough that adding deck lists to the website would just kind of be a uh, wasted effort in a way. Hey, Justin Mack, thanks for the 30-month free subscription there. I appreciate that. Uh, so when you're in the game menu in the upper right hand corner, there's a little slider that turns on the advanced game modes. And then when you click play at the bottom, there's a competitive ladder option, which is best of three. The dirty 30. All right, so we're getting hit by Vengevine again here. This feels a little bit bad. Maybe I was too aggressive and I should have left this. Maybe I should have, maybe I should have left the Awoken Horror. Yeah, I probably should have left the Awoken Horror back. Nope, best of three is not paper round. I think I'm gonna Serum Visions into Bedlam Reveler here and just like didn't ditch this, this Ascension. That's a Helix, Helix is pretty good. Helix is not quite lethal, but it's close. If I helix the Stitcher Supplier, I then go to 10. Yeah, I think, I think I'm supposed to helix the Stitcher Supplier here and then like play a tap land and like put them to two and then they're dead to any burn spell. Uh, in my honest opinion, I have really enjoyed my time spent playing Arena and there's a reason that we are gonna play standard on Arena on this stream. The only thing I don't like about Arena uh, is the distribution model. So if they find another blood gas tier, we're dead. So if they find a second blood gas to ditch, they then play a land and they have haste, they hit us for exactly 10. But I think this is a worthwhile risk that I took here. I think it's my best chance to kill them. They did not find another blood gas. They definitely had series of cards that could kill us here, but I like I like making them have it. The cards that can't block probably should have attacked opponent. Well, 
Well, what I propose is a better distribution model for Arena. Uh, let me buy singles. Please and thank you. Just sell. You could sell. You could sell a subscription model where I pay you X dollars and get to play with all the cards. You could you could have a model where you just sell wild cards directly. Like there's there's a that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, that was bad. Oh wait, that's lethal, right? Oh, that's fine. Never mind. That is what I mean. I'm lying. That is what I wanted to do. It's lethal. I I dislike. That is literally not what I said. I like here's pro tip. Pro tip. If you're going to put quotes around words that you're saying, that means somebody says those words. In fact, the exact words that came out of my mouth regarding Arena were it doesn't currently have formats I'm interested in playing, so it's not for me. I am interested in playing standard, so I gave Arena a real try to play standard, and when I tried it, I liked it. The thing that I take most issue with with Arena's distribution model is that when somebody's watching me play a deck on stream, I can't tell them how much that deck costs to play. So, you know, when someone's like, how much does this deck cost to play? If I want to play this on Magic Online, I can go, oh, go to my stream decker or wherever, and, like, you can import this list to know how much it costs to play. I can tell them roundabout that it's, like, between X and Y, and, like, if you get lucky and open well. Justin creates the worst decks I've ever seen. Can we put my resub towards my meme control, please? Definitely, King. Can you, can you uh, whisper me a link to your meme control deck on on a deck site so I can link it, Justin. Sorry, my reading comprehension, I'm a magic player, so I have pretty bad reading comprehension. So if I, if I read any of the words in that wrong, maybe I, maybe I should apologize. Don't don't grind free decks. Any the any comments about the free to play system are just completely irrelevant in my mind. I don't I don't care about free to play. I'm in if if you're someone who has more time than money, I get it, you care about free to play. I I am a consumer, I am an adult who has like dollars to spend on things, and grinding things is not worth my time. I'd rather just like show up and do my job rather than grind things. Even if I wasn't playing magic as my job, I would rather go and write software for, you know, eight hours rather than grind for a dollar an hour or whatever it comes out to. We did have some very generous sub gift runes. Oh gosh, that's double venge vine. Vomit. Um, it was decent, King. Uh risk factor was kind of mediocre, but I and I's actually felt really good. Would I take this deck to an open? Yeah, this deck is probably probably ticks most of the boxes I'm looking to tick while I play a tournament. It has a lot of sequencing decisions. It's uh, it's definitely this definitely classifies as a feel smart deck. Red source, red source. All right, so looking for a red source here so we can flip this TT. Actually, if we hit a red source here, we kill them, right? Yeah, red source is lethal. This deck is gas. We make blue, red, we serum visions, then we bolt them. They go to six and then we attack them for lethal. Hey, Teacup, thank you very much for the two month resub there. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thank you for the continued support. Bye, friends. Everybody, wave goodbye to our friends. Like I said, matches that care about thing in the ice 
are awesome. Can you make new bit shears? I could, I think I can. Do you want me to make them like, uh, I believe I have the ability to do custom ones. I could use like the coins that we have for the first couple of cheer badges, or I could do up something custom, I guess, if we have something specific we'd like to do. Uh, this deck struggles against spell-based combo decks. Like Ad Nauseam was our first loss. Not, not surprised we lost to that. Uh, we actually beat Storm, which I think is a harder matchup. Yeah, Pyromancer Ascension basically makes this deck a combo burn deck. You like put Ascension into play and then can trip through your deck and like Helix and bolt them a bunch. This is one of the many deck lists that's awesome that you can find on my website, jeffhoagland.com forward slash deck list. This is Thing Ascension. You can find, I think we played four leagues prior with this one. Deck feels really powerful every time we play it. That was turn three because they dealt a lot of damage to themselves. Uh, the person who is messaging me asking for asking for why they got temp banned, it's because you claimed I said something I didn't say. So take your 10 minutes like an adult. How much does this cost in paper? Unsure. You can go drop it on coolstuffinc.com and their, their deck builder and they'll give you an estimate real quick. You told them to message me. Uh, the rules have this really great part at the bottom that says I'm allowed to time anybody out for any reason at my discretion. We call that we call that a catch-all in the biz. Need time to be an adult? I got you. It's almost correct. Correct. Grab a hollowed fountain here. Because doing doing what you did, person, is how lots of as someone who's experienced lots of people claiming I said or do things that I don't do pretty consistently, it annoys me when people say things like that, because it's basically spreading lies. And then lies turn into rumors. And even if you didn't intend it to be to be that way, that's what it was. The the intention doesn't matter, it's the impact that matters. All right, so we're playing against Tron. Our hand is kind of slow against Tron. I think in the ice picks things up a little bit. Second Serum Visions triggers the Ascension. Turn four might be too slow here. Oh, I guess they don't guaranteed have Tron, but like they're playing Tron, so they guaranteed have Tron. Ugh, brutal. I guess I get to flip my TT over this turn, right? So I get to do this and make red white and then helix them and then sleight of hand. Faithless Looting seems sweet here. It also flips the thing over. I'm gonna ditch these. I'm gonna shock this in. I'm gonna helix their dome. Get to attack here. All right, and they have to choose. Do they want a Karn? Oh, they just have an Ugin. I think the White Splash in this deck is worthwhile. I think Helix and Path are both very good anti-aggressive cards. My boy, Eugene, yep.
nah. Now this isn't this isn't a uh, Moto EV maximizing stream. This is uh, we concede when we're dead. Move along with our live stream. God bless the Stoneforge Mystics in chat. Thank you. Chat chat gets it. Chat understands. Yeah, the white splash in the wizards deck wasn't particularly happy. We tried a couple of wizards white splashes on stream and they never felt very good. Just really clunky. You take a lot of extra damage from your mana base. You don't gain that much from the cards you're splashing. Mentor should come in whenever you need to close faster against linear decks or decks where you want additional threat density. Blood Moon. So Alpine Moon is in our sideboard because that slot is there to help us against big mana decks. Blood Moon isn't particularly good against big mana decks. It's slow and inefficient against them. Blood Moon is good at taking honest decks and screwing them out of being able to cast their spells, but it's not particularly good against normal decks. Zach, thank you very much for the brand new tier one sub there. I appreciate that. Welcome. Thanks for keeping me employed here. There's so much here to click when you're on compute. I don't know what you're talking about. This is fine. Like they have a way in play to get Tron going too. So I'm just gonna let this resolve. I save this negate for the Karn. I have no idea, Pythreon. Gonna double helix here. Long time YouTube watcher. I've been enjoying catching the stream live. I wanted to show my support for both your modern and arena content. Well, Zach, thanks for the support. Thanks for letting me know that you're enjoying the, the standard content as well. The numbers seem good so far on YouTube, and as long as they remain that way, we'll definitely have it as part of the channel. And if that changes, modern is always here. And again, modern is still gonna be our primary focus. My plan is to do arena one day a week. Oh, feels bad, man. I guess I hold this in case I draw Faithless Looting. Yeah, I've re I really enjoyed playing Standard yesterday. We're actually going to play a blue-black mid-range deck again tomorrow based around Disinformation Campaign. That card was really sweet yesterday. All right, so you want to let the Sanctum Trigger resolve first so they don't know that their spell is getting countered when they resolve this. Yeah, Standard is going to be every Tuesday. So for those that like Standard, they can know when to expect it and those that don't. I'm actually going to, I'm going to make a note. I'm going to update my calendar to list Standard uh, Tuesday as Standard. Yep, on Arena. All the all the standard on this channel is going to be on Arena. All right. If on the off chance my Tron opponent who guaranteed has a tower in their hand. All right, we're dead. I'm going to move along here. Honestly, the other thing I really like about Arena, like today's a good example. Like this stream's going to finish, you know, I, who knows? We could like this next match could only take five minutes and I'm like I'm done at 240. Whereas like Arena, because it's a little bit more flexible, I can keep playing matches up until about three o'clock when I want to finish.
Throw a Warhammer stream tonight. I'm actually not sure if I'm going to get to Warhammer tonight. Uh, Kent is... Kent is visiting because uh, he's driving with me to the Open this weekend. So we might just hang out instead. I also kind of need a night off, I think. I've been running a little... I've been I've been on constantly for for a lot of days now because I, I I streamed both days over the weekend. Yeah, there are leagues in arena, but those aren't what I'm going to be playing for donation decks. I'm going to be playing just on the ladder for a set amount of time. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm playing green black. We had kind of a bad run with it this morning, but we're going to play it again tomorrow for sure. Yeah, I definitely had fun streaming. Like, I enjoy I enjoy what I do. It's just, uh, you know, being doing it every day for 14 days in a row can get to be a bit much. Uh, I don't know yet. We might actually... So, BCW does this play with their team members thing on Friday night. And we were thinking about, I think Matt, Kent and I were gonna go crash that, I think. How do I deal with tilt? Usually I take a break, go play something else, change decks, change formats. MTGO traders, MTGO traders and Court Order are both pretty reasonable companies. The MTG online economy is very fluid, so they're both pretty competitively priced. If you'd like to support my content here, if you enjoy what I do, MTGO Traders does sponsor my stream. And if you're buying cards with cash, you can get a discount with them by using the code Hoagland PayPal at checkout. No, I don't think playing the Traverse the Ovenwald is worthwhile. I think it's pretty hard to enable on average. And I think Modern's a format where you're often going to stumble and die and not have time to pay a mana to go get a land. I get that there's some upside if you're like slogging through a grindy match, but there aren't that many grindy matches in modern. And like the green black deck already grinds pretty well. I think too many players, especially ones that tend to play mid range and control decks, tend to inbreed their deck too much to beat other mid range and control decks. It's a habit they should break. Um, I'm going to have tokens at the venue, Seth, but I don't, I'm actually picking the tokens up at the venue. So we don't have any merch in yet. I'm actually, I have a couple of my shirts that, I, that should be set up soon, hopefully, that I'm going to be wearing for the weekend, but I won't have any on hand for sale, unfortunately. We're playing against Jeremy and this league was not very good matches for this deck. We'll see here. They're, they're not really doing anything just yet. So maybe we can, we can get in and steal this. Mod Modern is just not a format that's very kind to a card like Monastery Mentor. Monastery Mentor needs to hang out for a bit. It's just like hard for it to hang out in Modern. Bought Black Green Rock not too long ago and your discount code saved me 40 bucks. Awesome. Well, thank you for the support. I'm glad you're enjoying Black Green. That's a lot of fun. Uh, actually, so my, my tokens, Jackal Girl, um, are being created by Inkling Customs, and she has a booth in there that she can sell the tokens at. So I believe, I believe we have some leeway there. I think I'm in for a Bedlam Reveler. Hey, Jay Ray, thanks for re-upping that sub for the second month in a row, I appreciate that. Welcome back, thank you for the continued support. Why is our hat a book? What is what is this called? This is a uh, this is a quest counter. We're on a quest chat. Everybody knows quests begin with books, right? If we could counter that gift, that would be ideal. I agree. Uh, I'm gonna give them both these creatures because they're gonna get one anyways.
That matchup's hard, Pythreon. That's 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 Mardu's redeeming quality. It's good against other grindy decks. Hey, one last Jester dance for the day. Enjoy your evening. Thank you, Tandem. Remember, after this match, I will be back tomorrow. 9 a.m. Tomorrow's going to be a Kent stream, too. Kent and I are going to be streaming together all day tomorrow. I think you that's a matchup where I don't have Niall Spellbombs in my sideboard, but if I was expecting to play against Pyromancer consistently, I would probably put Spellbombs in my sideboard. So we're deterministically dead here. I think I already have my decks picked out for tomorrow, Justin, and I'm going to turn down money to cut them. So I have to play Black Green Rock to start. I guess the league after Black Green Rock is up for grabs, but I'm definitely playing Rock to start tomorrow. Oh, no, I have to play Rock and I have to play the Grave Titan deck. So, yeah, my leagues are spoken for tomorrow. Well, I guess there's a chance. I guess I could maybe make... Maybe, maybe I'll ask Kent if he wants to watch Jake for an hour before Christy gets home, and I can go long tomorrow. I'll talk, to, I'll talk to him tonight. Hey, that bad control player. One more month and I get that sweet training sword. Thank you for the resub there. I appreciate that. I think because the notifications are a little bit bigger and longer, putting them up in the corner there is better. They're still a pretty decent size. I think I like that. It doesn't crowd the sideboarding screen either. Uh, the person that submitted the Grave Titan deck asked to have it moved to Thursday and that's fine. I told them I was fine with that. Need to cut one more card here. I think Ascension's a little bit slow. I'm gonna trim an opt. I'm gonna trim an opt. I wanna leave my bolts in. We got kind of punished because the last person brought in Thing in the Ice against us, but I don't think I wanna leave in Path to Exile, assuming they're gonna do that. Uh, you appear to still have a boot by your name, Alex Jet. The, the leeway on losing your streak on Twitch is pretty long. I think it gives you like up to a month even. I'm going to bottom this. I'm just looking for cantrip spells to flip this TT over ASAP. Are you going to play Warhammer tonight? I don't know. Kent is visiting and I'm a little bit tired, so Kent and Matt and I might go out tonight. This is my TT. My TT is on amazing. Do you like my TT's chat? Someone put balls on my TT's chat. Little, little blue balls. There's blue balls on my TT's. <laughs> listen i'm just i'm just calling it i'm just calling it as moto puts it on my screen okay don't blame me blame magic online there are children look at i i did not say anything we couldn't say on network television okay i would like i would like the record to reflect I am a child and I do not understand. Well, you see, there's there's a marble on my my thing in the ice, which is TT for short. Got my Baku visions. Ooh, a surgical extraction. 
Do I just like fire off the surgical for no value to smash them? I totally do, right? Because like they're they'd go to one. And like putting them to one turns the Shivan Reef off too. Like makes these not be able to make colored mana. Because I have to take one to do that. We have to hold up to spell and negate here, which is nice. I didn't know that there was that kind of stream. It's not quite Stone Rain, but it's like close, right? It also turns off Noxious Revival. Maybe I should have left these in their deck because they're bad draws. Yeah, I totally should have left these in their deck. They boarded in Truth, Wipe Away, and they have an Unsubstantiate in their deck still. That makes sense. Couple of remands. Did they board in Thing of the Ice of their own? They did not. It's not going to get added to the queue till after I'm done today, Justin. Nagate. I really love both this negate and this dispel art. They're quite fantastic. What's going on, Jack? We're doing well. We had a, we had a bunch of two threes and three twos today. I guess we fell fell kind of on our face with the Sahili deck to start today, but pretty good games overall. Ionize in the blue red tempo deck was really sweet. I think that's going to be my deck of the day. They they couldn't remand Stinger. They were at one. The Shivan Reef couldn't make mana, which was why I negated there. They will very dead if they remanded. Um, I'm actually not going to play this Light of Hand because I want to use it to flip my thing in the ice. So I don't update my website midstream. You should watch. You should watch the video. It will be. It will be a full, full recap on my, on my YouTube as always afterwards. Wrap up segment at the end. Uh, I guess I should play a blue source here. My sequencing here has been a little bit poop. Yeah, I should have. I should have played the island and cast slate of hand here. It doesn't matter if they kill me though. God bless. Oh, this bodes well for us. Okay, so does this mean I'm not dead and you're just like killing my threat? That would be great for me. Excellent. I'm gonna play this so I can negate a remand here if they have another. They do not. I think from two cards in hand and only four lands I play, I'm pretty safe to tap out here. I don't wanna hold the negate up. I think holding the negate up is too scary. I just wanna use my mana this turn. Can we get more Dirtle, please? You, did you know, Justin, you were the one of the people that complained about Standard. Did you know Dirtling in Standard is often actually very good? It's, it's much better in Standard on average than it is in Modern. Standard is kind of the format where Dirtle reigns supreme even. Modern Dirtle decks are like 90% standard cards. That's true. We've gotten a lot of Dirtle pushed recently. But now they can kill my Tefries for two mana. Oh no! Not interaction out of the aggro decks. What is this wizardry? Pythreon, you should try the Devoted Druid deck. 
The devoted the devoted company deck that's on my website is very similar to that. It, it has not, Jackal Girl. There is a reason why I put the OG League on my website, even though it's one of my really old videos that like still has kids in the background. Sure. What's going on, Lord Wind Soldier? Catch us right at the tail end here. Wow, brutal. Well played by the opponent here. Good, good sequencing. Got to clean our board out nicely. Put my TT into play. Perfect. So this means if they don't go off next turn, we should be almost a lock to kill them with the Manamorphos plus Lightning Bolt here. I don't really enjoy Legacy as a format. It's one of the reasons why we don't play it on stream. Peace, Justin. Have a good one. All right, so we just need to find one more bolt here and then they're dead. So we get, we actually get a bunch of looks here at a bolt two, right? Because we have, uh, we have two faithlesses in our bin and I have plenty of mana. Oh, Justin, we're going to have a new sub banner soon. It's going to be sweet for you wonderful folks in your, in your, with your crowns that are on the, uh, that are paid for the sub banner. It's quite excellent. That's that's not a that's not a lightning bolt. That's not a lightning bolt. There's a lightning bolt. There it is. Who's a good little lightning bolt? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're a good little lightning bolt. Arr, arr. We did play Blue Red Risk Factor already. We're just wrapping up our last League of the Day. I'm going to go ahead and publish on a bunch of stuff on YouTube momentarily here. Um, huh. I, I'm actually really impressed that we beat Storm twice with this deck. I think the faster combo decks tend to be a little bit tough for this deck, and uh, that was really great. We dumpstered Bridgevine. That was the only... We actually played against four decks that didn't really care about our thing in the ice, and we beat... We beat uh, we beat two of them still. We lost to Tron. We lost to Ad Nauseum. I think both those matchups are hard. Um, it's possible cutting the third Alpine Moon from the sideboard was greedy, but I, the negates and the dispels were instrumental in helping us beat Storm in those games that we played. So... At any rate... Um, this list, if you want to see more like it, you can find it on my website, jeffholgan.com forward slash deck list. There's like four more leagues up there, so you can watch another 20 matches or so. We've cashed basically every league we've played this deck in. It's very trim and feels very powerful. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to check check all my media here as soon as I sign off. That's going to be it for me for today. I'll be back tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. I'm going to be playing two modern leagues to start the day, and then I think we're going to play two different decks for an hour and a half to two hours each on Arena to wrap the day up. Uh, Kent Ketter is playing on my team for the team open this weekend. He's flying in this afternoon. So he's going to be here playing with us uh, tomorrow and Friday if we do a short stream and then well as Monday and Tuesday next week. So I'll catch all y'all tomorrow, hopefully. And if you want more Hoagland content, remember to check out my website and my YouTube channel. Peace, folks.